What's the next step for learning Chinese after you learn pinyin? I'll first tell you the two major choices of most people and then tell you what I think. First opinion is, after you learn pinyin, you should start to learn some simple conversation first. The second opinion is, after you learn pinyin, you should start to learn Chinese characters as soon as possible. Now here's what I think. I would say it doesn't harm if you learn a few conversational words and sentences like hello, sorry, goodbye, I don't understand, something like that. But what you should be aware of is don't dwell on the daily conversation stage for too long. That is, I think it is better no longer than one day. Or even you can skip this part altogether. The reason I'm saying this is I've seen people who learned many years Chinese or any language for that matter, and all they can say is some simple conversational sentences. The problem is you need to really use a language to learn it and master it. And these conversational words are just for show, to show you are a friendly traveler or a business partner when you are dealing with the people of that country. If that is your purpose, then okay, these greeting conversational words is enough for you. But to master Chinese, you need to use it the same way the Chinese natives use it. And almost all the books and video subtitles and any text you can see in Chinese daily life don't have pinyin on it. If you keep insisting on using pinyin as your crutch, then gradually you'll find your learning material is getting incredibly scarce. To an extent that I even heard some Chinese learners say there are not much interesting learning content in Chinese, therefore it makes them lose their motivation to keep learning it. And as a Chinese native, I can tell you that it's so not the case. There are a ton of interesting content in Chinese, but they are all in characters, not in pinyin. So you see what the problem is? You need to actually use the language to master it. Some people might think, then I'll find a conversational partner. Well, I'll tell you in detail in another video why having a conversational partner is not a good idea. But here it suffice to say, learning characters will provide you with most opportunities to use the language. And it is the best and most efficient way to truly open up the door of Chinese culture for you. Now, I'm well aware the reason that is keeping a lot of people from learning character is because they think Chinese characters is too hard to learn, because they look too exotic, too strange, and there are too many of them. But it's a myth. I've asked many successful Chinese learners. They all say Chinese characters look exotic for sure, but the grammar of it and the underlying logic of it is so much more simpler and much more intuitive than people might thought. Besides, I'll tell you an exciting fact. 1,000 characters can already cover about 70 to 80% of all the Chinese written material. That is to say, if you only learn about 10 characters a day, you need no longer than six months to understand 70 to 80% of all the written material. And it is with this goal in mind, I created a mobile-friendly e-course called 1,000 Characters Challenge. You can click on the link to see a detailed introduction video about it if you want. Half of the course, which is equal to 500 characters, is actually free. The course is divided up, so you only need to learn about 10 to 15 characters a day. It uses interesting Chinese TikTok videos as learning material. With this course, in no more than six months, you'll have the capability to get into an all-Chinese environment and explore on your own. Click the link in the description area to try it out. You don't need to decide whether you want to buy it or not until you finish half of the course. I'm very confident that my course is going to be able to help you that I gave half of the course for free. Even if you don't want to buy it, I believe the free part of the content being too much is also sufficient to help you to get a gist of what the Chinese characters is all about and that Chinese characters is really not that hard to learn. I'll also keep posting some interesting Chinese TikTok videos and movie clips in my channel so you can see there really are a lot of interesting content in Chinese and will motivate you more in keep learning Chinese.